What makes you happy? Today it marked the beginning of a new personal journey. This human journey is a trait of our humankind. In order to achieve that subconscious desire to grow, everyone has to experience life. My personal story starts in France one year and a half ago when with a scholarship I pursued some clinical rotations. However, la réforme de la santé meant to enter in 2023 lacked clarity in how the European students will access medical residency without le certificat de compétence clinique. That moment marked my pivoting towards a US medical residency and research. However, this mini-series is meant to help you grow and achieve your goals on your personal journey. Each episode is made to question your assumptions about life and how society tells you that this the life should look like and give some ideas on how to develop one's own life's philosophy. As the saying goes, religion without philosophy is sentiment, while philosophy without religion is mental speculation. From an early age, the society conditions our dopamine release. We are no longer hunters whose nervous system will release dopamine when the hunt was successful. Nowadays, we release dopamine in a relationship with an abstract idea. Thus, you will release dopamine when you have the highest grade on the exam. This translates in a shift in our cultural internal monologue. This monologue shifts from the present of being to the future of planning. I'll be happy when. There is a dark side to this pursuit. Every person with an addiction will tell you how difficult it is to wean off the substance. Their brain requires more substance to release the same amount of dopamine, a phenomenon called tolerance. The same occurs with our pursuits. You achieve that when moment and nothing internally changes. You are the same person as before, however, the society tells you otherwise. They see you as changed. You enjoy the recognition, but the next time you engage with the activity, the stakes have to be higher in order to release the same amount of dopamine. This is how society keeps us on the hedonic treadmill. Every time you engage with the dopamine releasing activity, Preceding it, there is an equal amount of anxiety and fear. This helped us not to miss our prey, but in the long run, in our modern society, it is detrimental to our mental health. The best way to avoid being lived is to experience the pursuit in the present and to practice detachment regularly. There is an underlying biologic mechanism, namely when we are experiencing the moment we engage with the serotoninergic system, different from the dopaminergic system engaged in pursuit. The act of balance is between being in the moment and growing on our pursuit. How could you engage with the serotonergic system? You can practice a 10 minute meditation, do some nature bathing by walking through a green space. You can experience the pursuit in the moment by using the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 technique. Engage with 5 visual cues, hear 4 sounds, feel 3 things, smell 2 things and taste 1. Another step is to adopt a big picture image. Where will you be? in 10 years time. Lastly, you can focus on breath and internal states. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments what pursuit did you engage? What method of being in the moment helped you the most?